Hey folks, Paul here with Pat-Tech. In this video, we're gonna take a look at something really cool. CamLink 4K, how it works with Camtasia 9 and Camtasia 2018. Let's check it out. Okay, so what you're seeing on the screen right now is CamLink 4K. And it's basically like a USB stick or a dongle, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it comes with about a six inch USB 3 uh, extension cable. And the, the CamLink 4K dongle itself, um, very little paperwork in the box and it's very small in physical size as you can see. And so the reason the screen behind me looks kind of funny is because I wanted you to see exactly what CamLink 4K captures. Now, the reason for uh, purchasing this piece of equipment is really simple for me. Um, I wanted to improve my picture-in-picture -picture, and the typical Logitech webcams basically sort of stop you at 720p. Uh, 30 frames per second which for picture-in-picture -picture is not too bad but there's cases where you know I want to blow up my picture-in-picture -picture full screen um, or I've got a training application that I'm working on or something like that and I want a little bit better quality and so CamLink 4K basically allows me to connect my Nikon D3300 which is what I'm shooting with right now uh, to my laptop uh, right now I'm, I'm capturing into Camtasia 2018. I also work with Camtasia Studio 9. And so finally we've got a piece of equipment that works um, and it's kind of cool. So what you can see on the screen is exactly what you see in your live view on the back of my uh, camera. So that's the first thing. So the second thing I'm going to do is show you, take you from basically the screen capture um, through the green screen uh, the exact settings that I use and then push it out into an mp4 file which is is really straightforward so it's probably going to be the green screen settings that you're interested in but with Camtasia 2018 or Camtasia Studio 9 it's pretty straightforward it's almost one click green screen um, but it's very effective if you're building tutorials for training so that's my whole function in life my day job I'm a certified instructional designer work for numerous multinational companies and uh, so I need things to be simple. I got to go in, get a capture, get a recording and get it out uh, in an MP4 format so it can be loaded to, you know, wherever we're sending the videos to. OK, so the next thing I guess we should look at is audio video sync and some of the basic settings. So um, let me just move back here in my uh, Camtasia window so you can see now. Let's go right to the very beginning. So at the very beginning of this video, uh, what you'll see is a gap here in the audio between zero and about 10 seconds. So what I've noticed is the audio video sync coming through CamLink 4K, uh, you're gonna have to play with it a little bit. But consistently, I found it's about 10 seconds. So if you, you just take your audio uh, recording and back it up about 10 seconds, it syncs just fine with the video and you're off to the races. And so you can see that here um, in the actual intro clip that I recorded. So that's the first thing. Now the next thing is you're going to have to play around a little bit with the settings. And um, I've set Camtasia uh, 2018 so that it's recording at uh, the project settings are 30 frames per second and CamLink 4K uh, brings in your signal at 1080p 30 frames per second so that's ideal so that that's really quite good and it works quite well that way so that takes care of the audio sync and the frames per second thing in the actual uh, project settings and setup okay okay so in this segment uh, what I'm going to do is show you or share you, share with you my uh, Camtasia screen. So this is the actual build, you know, uh, timeline for this video that you're watching right now. So what I'm going to do is take my cursor uh, to the end here. I'm going to zoom in as uh, much as I can. Give me a little better field of view here. And I'm going to drag. So this clip is already on the timeline. But what I'm going to do is drag it in again and show you exactly what you'll have to deal with uh, when you're using CamLink 4K. Okay, so the first thing I would do is, here we go, right click, separate the audio and the video. 
Now, if I played this through for you right now, you would find, you would notice that the audio and the video would be out of sync. So, what I generally do is use the comma and period buttons and just move forward. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You can also use the counter here if you want. Take this, move it so it's, it's basically ten, whoops. 10 seconds, uh, it's because I'm recording it. <laughs> yeah, so it's 10 seconds behind your video clip. And then uh, let's knock out the green for you. So you haven't done this before in Camtasia. This is the way I would knock out the green screen. Or So that's the crop tool, drag it down. Bring it in as tight as you need it. Something like that. And then you can basically resize it. You know, I just kind of blow it up so I can see what I'm doing a little easier. Uh, something like that should be fine. And then um, I'm gonna come over here to visual effects. I'm going to drag the remove a color. I'm going to select. Oops. This is just bringing up an eyedropper panel. It's kind of off screen. You can't see it, but I'm just grabbing the eyedropper and make a selection and boom. There's your, the bulk of your green is gone. I found that 12% uh, seems to work really well for these uh, recordings and about a minus 5% on the defringe setting and that's really all you need. It just takes, it helps to take that little green tinge out from around the hairline. And then you can resize your picture in picture uh, down to wherever you want. You can move it wherever you want. Um, and you can see, uh, if I move this around, that's just the uh, Camtasia in the background there. And yeah, and so once that's done, it's, it's fairly fast. Oh, now let me see. So for the audio, typically what I do is jack the audio all the way. And then I'll come over here and I put the gain at about 150, 160% somewhere in there. Um, you know, I might come in here and just trim out the bits that I don't need. And then come over and just drag this under and that's basically how I would process a clip like this where I'm trying to show you something in Camtasia okay guys so let's wrap this up um, if you're thinking about purchasing Camlink 4k for Camtasia I would say go ahead and do it um, my experience with it so far it just seems to keep getting better and better um, you've seen the quality of the you know, the picture in picture video, I mean, um, so no issues that way. Um, is the audio video sync an issue? Well, yeah, it's a tiny bit of extra work, but um, I don't really find it that big of an issue. Um, I guess the technical term for the reason you have to do is the latency, there's a bit of a delay coming through a device like Camlink 4K. Uh, is AVIO better? Um, you could probably check out a channel uh, like Caleb Pike's channel, DSLR Video Shooter. He's uh, quite knowledgeable about this kind of stuff. Um, but, you know, like I say, Camlink 4K is uh, one third the cost of AVIO. So, for me, that kind of makes the, the decision pretty simple. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you found the video useful. I know I was jumping around a little bit, showing you the settings for green screen, that kind of thing. And hey, uh, you know, don't hesitate to connect in if you have questions or if you want to borrow the, you know, any of the bits and pieces that I use in the video, like the PSD template or anything like that. I'm happy to give that stuff away for free. And so what I mean is I could give you the backsplash or the templates that I use. I'll give you the PSD file and then you can change the colors and do whatever you want to do with them. Uh, I'm happy to do that, help somebody out who's, who's getting started, maybe struggling a little bit. Um, yeah, and again, don't forget to connect in. So that's it for this one, uh, folks. 
please uh, hit that subscribe button, that brand new uh, logo subscribe button that I put there uh, on the screen for you. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.